Well, they were neighbors for over 32 years, sharing countless cups of coffee and, of course, good conversation. And through these conversations, my next guest learned her neighbor, Lydia Ross, had quite a life story to tell. So Edna Thayer is telling it in this remarkable award-winning book. It's called Feisty Lydia, Memoirs of a German War Bride. Edna joins us this morning as part of our book author series. Good morning to you. Good morning, Danielle, and thanks for having me. Well, thanks so much for being here. Tell me about Lydia, because I know she was born in Germany in 1925, but what made her story so remarkable to you, Edna? Lydia's story was remarkable because she really was a feisty lady, living through so many adversities. She was born a premature baby, lived through the Great Depression, almost died during the war in different uh, situations, then met her American soldier friend, traveled to America, and what she found here at first was not the American dream, but she made it that way through her determination and pluck. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about that journey to America. And when she got here, as you said, it was not the American dream that she initially envisioned uh, it, it would be. Explain that. Okay, what she found was a house with no electricity, no running water, no plumbing, no privacy from a meddling mother-in-law, and she had expected much more, of course, because her husband had sent home savings bonds every, every month out of his paycheck, and they were all cashed by the mother-in-law. So there was no money, <laughs> and so they I'm had no choice. Close my mouth now. <laughs> no choice but to move in with the in-laws and it was not a happy scene. How did she make her life happy here in America? And, and, and what drew you to her? Because as I said, you were neighbors for over 32 years. Obviously, you grew very close to her. What was it about her? I think it was her personality. She did have this feisty spirit, which I mean in a positive way. She was always very determined and she had a lot of energy. She was always optimistic. She used a lot of laughter in her life. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I say that laughter is a way to dump emotional garbage and live across it, and she did that. She used laughter in her life to forget about the things that weren't so nice and to move on to more pleasant things. You know, everybody says, you know, um, that everybody's life can be a book, that everybody has a story to tell, and you'd always kind of felt that Lydia would have a great story to tell, but you really didn't start to get serious about writing the book until she went into a nursing home. That's and when correct. she went into the nursing home, was she initially receptive, knowing her feisty personality, was she initially receptive to you writing a book about her? No, she wasn't. Her <laughs> first response when I asked her was, ah, who would want to read a book about me? <laughs> but I convinced her that she had a story to tell, and then her comment was, well, if I can approve of everything you write, you can write it. She's being an editor, too. <laughs> so that's what I did. I interviewed her every week, and I would first read to her what I had written because of her diabetes. Her eyesight was getting bad, and she couldn't read anymore herself. And then she would you know, correct it or edit it or whatever, mm -hmm. and then I would go on and interview her some more. This went on, on through the first week of March in 2009 when I had the rough manuscript mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. She fell and broke her hip on March 19th mm -hmm. and died on the 22nd, so it was just fortuitous that the book was finished. Oh, she chose goodness. the cover. She loved the title, Feisty. Yeah. She said that fit her perfectly. And the townspeople around Elysian all agree that that's a perfect title for her. And so she never got to see the book in print, Not so in to speak. print, but mm -hmm. she did know everything that was in it. She chose the cover out of several choices. Her grandson had drawn the picture on the cover nice. of their wedding yes. picture. And he did a charcoal stretch sketch to do that. And uh, she loved the cover. What would you say Lydia's legacy is? Well, I think her legacy is that you can survive, that you can use determination and, you know, goodwill and a good spirit and laughter and optimism, and you can survive whatever happens. It mm. can carry you through that. 
Just a wonderful book, and I know we were talking a little bit off camera. There, nobody has um, rented or leased or bought the house yet, and the husband, the, right. the brother, or the son just put the house up for sale That's again. Right. So I'm going to be very interested to see who your new neighbors are, my so dear. Will I. <laughs> <laughs> see if they can live up to Feisty Lydia's legacy. Well, again, a delightful book, and thank you so much for sharing it with us this morning on the show. Thanks for having me, Danielle. Mm, anytime. And once again, the book is called Feisty Lydia: Memoirs of a German War Bride. For more information on Ed. Edna Thayer or the book, please visit feistylydia.com.